Hello and welcome to another edition of Rin Reads where we are still in horrible lighting and still don't have a stand. Um, <laughs> we are making do with what we have. Like I said, I'm super stoked for October. So we're making do, pressing through because I'm, I'm loving this. So this time we're looking at the Second Night World book, Daughters of Darkness. Now, once again, beautiful hardcover edition like this like look at these they are absolutely gorgeous um and the really cool thing is on the spine each of the books have a thing that like builds to the end it's really cool love it um comes in a cute little box um though just like the other like i, I went and i got all of the 90s covers of all of the books because i just I love them so much that I couldn't not. So here we have the original and we've got Ash and the three sisters. And I just, I love Ash. So we were introduced to Ash in the first book, Secret Vampire. Um, he is the cousin of James. And in this one, his three sisters run away to go and live with their crazy aunt. They find out that their aunt has been staked and they are trying to figure out what to do with this mummified vampire corpse. So they're all Lamia, which means they're born vampires. And they also come from the Redfern family, which means that they're like high up in the vampire um, scheme of things. Then there is Mary Lynette who is a neighbor to their aunt and she starts to like suspect all these weird things. So she sees the girls disposing of the body and suddenly she's like obsessed with this idea that um, the girls have killed their aunt. Um, and so there's, you know, kind of these interesting things. And then she meets Ash for the first time. And of course they hate each other, but when they touch for the first time, and like she can't deny it and she hates him but they're soulmates and I love it it's wonderful and then there's this other guy that Mary Lynette knows um oh, why can't I remember his name oh I don't know Doesn't matter. I can't remember his name. But there's this guy that Mary Lynette has kind of been interested in and she likes and feels a kinship to. And then she's like, oh, he has a black flower ring. And so they go to like see if he's the one that killed their aunt. And it turns out he's not, but he's a werewolf. And let me tell you, this was like the love triangle before Twilight of the werewolf, vampire, and human. It was beautiful. Anyways, there's this whole thing where like, the werewolf goes crazy and he like tries to like steal Mary Lynette and she of course gets out of it. I'm not going to go into like the whole thing, but at the end, her and Ash are like in love, but they go their separate ways for now because Mary Lynette isn't ready to like deal with all the vampire stuff. And I just, I love it because Ash leaves as a completely changed vampire because of Mary Lynette. And it's just, oh, it's so romantic and stupid. I love it. I love it so much. Um, this deals with a lot of mature subject matter that I can see how it kind of went over my head because it's not in great detail. Like it, it very much is innuendo and it talks about some things without spelling it out in actual words. And so I can see how my younger self may not have actually understood what was going on, but I was a little surprised at some of the mature themes in the book. But once again, it is like a YA horror romance. So do it what you will. Um, <laughs> uh, 
also there's this great scene where Mary Lynette drives a station wagon and she goes to fill up her car at the gas station and she fills up her car, gives the gas attendant a $20 bill and gets change. And I'm like, if only, if only, um, yeah, gas prices are not that these days. Um, I found that hilarious while I was reading the book, but overall, because this is the Ash centric, Ash focused book, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, he shows up through multiple Night World books, which is probably why I have such a strong connection to Ash. Um, we we briefly meet Quinn in this book. Quinn has very little to do in this book, but he has his own book, which is coming up, I think, in another three or four books. So I'm so excited to get to Quinn's book. But yeah, love Ash. Love what's happening here. And... Uh, I'm so excited. Going through Night World again is one of the best things I could have done. It brings me so much joy. I hope that this brings you joy and I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon.